Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, I got a good one for you today. Uh, just a little short one. I get asked a lot, how does, how well does the OptiIdle work in this, uh, in this truck? So, first let me show you uh, what the temperature is, okay? You can see right down there, I don't know, I don't think, I can't zoom in. You can see right, right there. It's like 108 degrees outside right now, okay? So, let me show you. Opti Idle is on right now, but what I do, this is in the back by the bunk. You have to set, you gotta set the controls up a certain way and I'll show you that in a second. But I turn it off because it gets too doggone cold in here. But if I, if I go ahead and if I turn this fan on, it'll start it because it knows that I wanna, it'll start the truck because it knows I wanna cool down in here. So, watch. Let's do that real quick. And then you'll hear the truck make a beeping noise. And it just started. So, this is another thing I use right here to help keep it cool. That's an Endless Breeze by Fantastic. And let me tell you, it is fantastic. That one there is about eight years old. Um, it's been beat to heck, but it keeps on ticking. Just want to get my little meat thermometer out here. So this is 87 degrees in here, but I just turned on the Opti Idle. All right, we'll come back when it uh, cools down. And I'll show you what it gets inside of here. All right. It's been about 10 minutes. That's the ambient temp inside of here. 68.5. It's been fluctuating. It's gone down to 68.3. It comes back up a little bit. But uh, so that's that's fairly decent temperature in here. Let's try putting a probe in the vent and see what it's coming out of the vent at. Well, man. That is not working out in my favor. 55, it's gonna keep dropping. These things, most car air conditioners, if you put it on low blow, that's the best way to test the temperature. I'll put it on low blow. It'll come out of there the, at its coldest. And most cars or vehicles should get down to about 40 degrees. As you can see that's dropping. Come on, you can do it. Anyway, so I've been getting a lot of questions. Uh, I think it just cycled. I think it just cycled. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about how well does this system work. Well, I gotta tell you, it works better than any, uh, let's see, where, where do I got light on me? It works better than any uh, system that I've used in a truck, whether it be uh, an auxiliary uh, power unit. I've had roof AC, the 13.5 13 uh, BTU up there. Doesn't work near as good as this. This this will freeze your butt off. It'll freeze you out. So uh, let's go over here and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, I've got it set up right now. It's running. Let's see. All right, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off as if we're starting all over again. Look at that temperature. It's 109. Sometimes I can't see things in this camera and then when I look on uh, video, uh, I can see it pretty good. So I'm just gonna assume that it's there. But let's go ahead and shut this off for right now. Just so you get an idea. So how so how I started off is I go ahead and start the truck. So the truck's running right now. And then you come over here. 
your controls and you if you had everything shut off like this right now what you want to do is turn on the AC so this is there's the AC is not on and the green light the AC is on and the blue light is where they want it to be is you gotta have that blue light on and then you also got to have it on vent not you know not um, defrost so then you can turn this up as high or as low as you want then you come over here and you see that we got this little selectors on the dash and you could use the little keypad here to move back and forth and then you're gonna go over there to vehicle settings and then you go down to optimized idle Okay, so then you go to you go to optimized idle. I hope you can see this stuff. There. Oh, I just figured it out. There, how's that? Is that any better? Alright, you go to optimized idle. And then using your keypad, once again right here, you hit the OK button, and that's gonna take you in there. Hit OK again. See where it says interior comfort mode? You're gonna hit the over arrow here. That's gonna take it over to on, interior comfort on. And then you press to enable, you press the key. See the okay? See it says enable? You press enable. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna shut the truck off and now it'll be in, uh, it'll be in opti idle mode. Now, Opti Idle Mode works not only interior comfort, but it also works for, get some light on me here. It also works for battery charge up. See, see how I've got this uh, refrigerator here? This is my deep freezer. And uh, you know, I run the fan and uh, the computers and stuff. Um, and uh, so it'll it'll start to keep the batteries charged too, so you don't ever have to worry about having dead batteries. So you just set that Opti Idle up every night. It's kept me plenty cool. I haven't uh, used it for heat yet, but uh, it's kept me plenty cool uh, so far this year. And then um, these blackout curtains, they work really good. I mean, it makes it nice and dark. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not sure what time of day it is sometimes but uh <laughs> when you get up you can see the little sunlight through the cracks and stuff but that curtain works those curtains work really good and then if you really want to black it out in here then we also have these curtains um that separates the sleeper from the cab so if you had a co-driver or something like that but and then for me it'll run it till it's a little too cold so i will right now it's you know it's just i just reset it so it's going to take a little while to get going again but if i i could shut it off right here and then boom that'll that'll turn the opti idle off and then the truck will it won't turn the opti idle off but it'll turn the ac off and then the truck will shut off uh, if it's just cooling so and then when I want to start it back up I just do that and then we have these bunk heaters but I haven't been able to use that yet because it hasn't been cold enough uh, I tested it when I first got the truck and it worked and then the next time I tested it a couple weeks later it didn't work anymore so anyway hey that's gonna do it for this edition of uh, you know truck or warren i guess whatever you want to call it but that's going to do it for this video um if you have any questions about the opti idle and uh, i'll try and answer them go ahead and you know comment below uh if you use opti idle then let me know what do you think opti idle how's that uh, working out for you uh, if you found any value in this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up hey consider subscribing and if you're thinking about coming over to crete uh i have other videos here that talks about crete in see it it just started now um it talks about crete and orientation and, and uh, some other stuff and uh go ahead and watch those videos also um 
you know if you're considering coming over here go ahead and use my driver code it's l-a-r-w-a l-a-r-w-a hey it's a crazy world out there keep your head on a swivel try and keep the bugs off your glass and the bears off your well you know you know how we do it here trucker warren we gone peace